some of the guys on the Discord wanted to see my collection, so... But that is not the reason I am here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I was sat here working out the 60%, 40% repair method for I Got Sneaker Shine on all shoes. And then I read the chat on the Discord. And Dave says, hands up if you've been hitting a lot of dry stashes lately. So I won't bore you with all the details, but there's been a lot of things happening from a technical perspective as to why these couldn't be reset earlier. So your stashes, your repair stations, your dead stock stations, go hit them up. They're all reset. And Dave also says... We're going to start giving away a lot more stuff. If you haven't told your friends about Aglet yet, now is the time to share it with them. They'll thank you later. What's coming? Who knows? All right, boom, new day. So, yesterday, like I said, I was trying to figure out... Sorry, I've just got my computer right here. I was trying to figure out what you would get profit-wise using Aglet Sneaker Shine on shoes. So, I've worked out a method. It only works on Tier 3, 4, and 5. I probably could adjust it for getting Tier 1 and 2, but for the moment... With the best earning shoes being tier three, this is gonna work absolutely fine for me. So I'm just gonna bring that column over here so I can just see the name of the shoes next to them because my spreadsheet's got quite big. So the best shoe to use with us profit wise, not including like uh, how fast you earn it. So I'm not counting in durability to this. So like it may be possible that some of these shoes are in different order, which is actually best, but just pure profit wise, the deal low with Aglet Sneaker Shine gets you about 13,000 aglet if you use aglet sneaker shine for all of its repairs and then wear it down to 0% for the final wear through. Top five, Dior Low. Then you've got the Fear of God Triple Blacks, which I actually never got because I was in work and they sold out within 10 minutes, I think. I can't remember, but there wasn't many of them and I never got a pair. If someone's wearing them, they're probably a bit silly because, I mean, they're a good earner, but you probably get more of them when trading comes. Next up is the Yeezy 350 V2 Zebra. The Zebra is better than the Beluga with Aglet Sneaker Shine. I feel like the tier three Sneaker Shine is probably the happy medium for everything because it doesn't cost too much, so you can earn your profit back quite well. Next in fourth place is another shoe I never got, the Cyber Sneaker. I didn't have my method at the time, so I didn't realize it was actually such a good shoe, so I skipped out on it and went for other shoes that I wanted in my collection and I kind of regret it but you know these things happen and then after that is the Dunk SB High De La Soul win fifth place and after Sneaker Shine that will earn you roughly eight and a half thousand aglet and then much less efficient but still earns you nearly the same it's probably going to be a few hundred aglet less is the made for walking boots yeah, so it's a top six, really. Anything below that is the off-white blazers. They earn you 5,000 aglet, which probably is better than the made-for-walking boots, purely because of the durability. But the blazers aren't in this shop, so what are you going to do? But my food's going cold on the table, so I'm going to eat it now, and then we're going to head out and check out some of these refreshed stations. Now, currently, on the go, I've been using my phone here. But if I'm using my phone, I can't exactly play aglet, so this is where this comes in. I found this really old camera, it's from like 2012, 13. And I'm gonna use that to film these videos. The quality is probably gonna drop. It's gonna to go to 1080, 30 FPS, I think. But at least I can play Aglet while I record. So we're on this older camera now. I'm gonna grab these. Comfy boys, if you don't know, you should know. Pegasus 35 Turbo. So I've not got a lot of time today, but we're in the car. I've got the Aglet One Lows on, and I'm off to go hit some stashes. Okay, so I'm back home again. I'm just gonna save you from that audio because it was horrible. I went out and visited two stashes, and both of them were different. One was secret, one was not. And I've written down basically what I said. So it seems that auto-generated stashes have changed value. So the secret stash I visited used to have 1,000 Aglet in it, uh, but now it only has 500. And then the regular stash I visited, which is on the map, used to be 200 aglets i'm fairly certain and when i hit it today it was 500 so maybe it's a nerf maybe they've just shuffled everything around but i spoke to dave and he said the manually placed stashes that he does shouldn't have changed and he doesn't know of any algorithm changes made by the dev team but things are different so maybe you guys could tell me what you're finding at your stashes uh, if they've changed if they've not i'm still yet to visit a sneaker stash one which i have and i can go to it i'll probably hit it up tomorrow um 
I'm not too sure. I'll let you guys know at some point anyway. And before I go, I also recorded this when I was out, but just saving you from the sound because it is awful. I've got two people to thank. I've got TVGE1. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I read it. So that's what I'm going to call you. Um, he gave me a little bit of help with figuring out the Aglet sneaker shine, um, just like in direct messages. And then a big, big, big shouts to Joshua 2811-2811. I'm not sure, however you want it. But I've been chatting to him about working out earnings from 100% to 0%, like... He was figuring out the maths and I was giving him a couple of guides, hints, you know. He was just someone who was new to the game who started messaging me. He got really close and I just gave him a little push and guidance and he managed to figure everything out. And he used my little handhold to pull him along and he just went flying past me and I ended up having to go to him because he found out everything about Sneaker Shine. He just messaged me, he's like, just letting you know I've figured everything out. So I was like, well... How? So um, he helped me with that and big shouts to you, Josh. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I'm not going to use that camera again because that was actually awful. I'm really sorry for your ears. As soon as I saw it in the editing software, I was like, whoa, that is horrible to hear. So no more of that camera, but I just felt like if I cut the video short there, it was kind of rubbish. So I just wanted to finish this off with good sound. So yeah, thanks. We'll see you in a bit. Peace.